There are a whole heap of exciting new cars coming in the next few years, and in this video I'm going to give you a complete A to Z guide of the brands which have just announced some new models. There they are. Koenigsegg knows a thing or two about building mega fast supercars, but now it's having a crack at making a super quick GT. The Gamera is a low slung four seater with upwards hinging doors and exhaust pipes that stick out through the roof. These don't lead to a massive fire breathing V8 like they do on other Koenigseggs though. Instead, the Gamera has a two litre three cylinder petrol engine. However, this is supplemented by three electric motors and combined, you have 1700 horsepower. In fact, the three-cylinder engine alone shouldn't be laughed at because it produces 600 of the horsepower, and boy is the Camaro quick. It can go from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. You can even run it on petrol or ethanol if you want to be a bit kinder to the environment. It's your choice. If you fancy a Swedish supercar but you don't need four seats, there's also the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute. Yes, it sounds like a type of vodka, but it's actually a 1600 horsepower twin turbo V8 hypercar designed to smash the top speed record for production cars. Bugatti currently holds a record with its 305 mile an hour Chiron, but Koenigsegg reckons the Gamera will do more than 310 miles an hour. You can even remove the Yesco Absolute's roof and keep it under the bonnet, although top speed takes a bit of a hit when you do. Koenigsegg hasn't confirmed how much the Yesco Absolute costs, but they have said it'll be the last car they build that's all about top speed. So, grab it while you can then. McLaren has made a few special edition, long tail versions of its cars before, and the latest model to get stretched is the new 765LT. It's based on the 720S, but it comes with a bunch of new vents, loads of carbon fibre upgrades, and four huge titanium exhausts poking out from underneath the massive rear wing. It has the same twin turbo 4 litre V8 engine as the 720S, but it makes 765 horsepower in this car, and thanks to some polycarbonate windows, lots of carbon fibre, and some seats borrowed from the McLaren Senna, the new car weighs 80 kilograms less than the standard 720s on which it's based all this means it will do 0 to 60 in about 2.7 seconds however due to the long tail's extra aerodynamics for improved downforce and handling the top speed is now only 205 miles an hour instead of the standard car's 211 oh dear the Mercedes E-Class Saloon and Estate have had a few tweaks for 2020. Now, they come with revised styling and plenty of new technology. You get different headlights, new grills, and some fancy new steering wheels to choose from. Also, the new car gets Mercedes' very latest version of its MBUX infotainment system. Meanwhile, the car also gets some all-new mild hybrid engines, while E53 models come with a new optional AMG Dynamic Plus pack that gives you the same drift mode as the full-fat E63 AMG. Now, if you want more information on this car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen for my detailed video on this new Mercedes E-Class. The latest AMG A45 has shown to be a real blast to drive. Come on! But now, there's a GLA45 to get your pulse racing as well. This uses the same 421 horsepower turbocharged 2-litre petrol engine as the hot hatch version, but stuffed into a taller SUV body for even more, or maybe less, street cred. Depends on your viewpoint. Anyway, if that doesn't sound like enough power in an SUV, check out the AMG GLE 63 Coupe. This massive coupe off-roader comes with up to 625 horsepower from its 4-litre twin-turbo V8. It also gets a clever, active anti-roll system to stop its huge body from leaning too much in tight corners. 